In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure AppPressor. The first thing that you're going to need to do is log into your account page and download all of the product zip files that we provide for you. Uh, now, after you do that, you're going to log into your WordPress admin and go to Plugins and Add New. The first thing that you need to do is install the AppPressor Core plugin. So you can just search for AppPressor and click on Install. Now I already have it installed in this case. Um, the next thing that you're going to need to do is uh, uh, make sure you activate that plugin after you install it also. Next thing you need to do is install the extension zip files that we provide for you. So you're going to go again to plugins add new, click on upload plugin, and then choose the zip file that we have provided for you. Make sure that it's not unzipped but still in the original zip format. Now this is for the AppPressor extensions for any AppPressor theme, whether that's app theme or ion theme, you're going to go to appearance themes, then click on add new, and click on upload theme. Then you're going to again choose the zip file that you have downloaded from us and upload the theme. Now you don't want to activate the theme, you're just going to upload it and leave it deactivated. So I, in my case, um, to save time, I've already done that. So you can see that I have uh, all the AppPressor extensions activated here. And then if I go to Appearance Themes, you'll see that I have uh, the App Theme and also the Ion Theme here that are deactivated. The Active Theme is going to be the theme for my desktop site. And if I look on the front end of my site, you'll see that you know it's just a normal website with some test content and it's got the 2015 theme activated. So after you've activated the AppPressor plugins, you're going to go down to the AppPressor settings menu, which is going to be here. The first setting here, load AppPressor for admins, that's going to give you a preview of your app in the browser so that you can see what your app is going to look like. It's only going to load if you are logged in as an admin. It's not going to be shown to your website visitors. Now, uh, the first thing that you want to do is choose the app only theme. You want to make sure that one of uh, the themes that we provide for you is chosen here, Ion or App Theme. And then if you scroll down, this setting is only for App Presser 1. That's not going to apply for App Presser 2. Here you can choose a home page for your app. And there's some other settings that we go over in other videos, but this is the main uh, setup. So you're going to go ahead and save those settings. And now if you wanted to activate load app presser for admins only and save, I'm going to go back out to the front end of my website and refresh. And you'll see that I have the theme for my app active here and I can, you know, take a look at what it's going to look like in the browser. If I undo that and save and then go back out and refresh, you'll see that we go back to our normal site theme. So the first thing you want to want to do is probably customize your app. And so if you click on this Open Customizer button, it's going to take us to the Theme Customizer, and this is going to customize the theme for your app. Now what you can do is go to, say, the Colors section. We can choose some different colors. Say, for example, I wanted my header and footer to be blue. I can change that color. Um, there's also a lot of other colors you can select from, and then you can preview them here in the Theme Customizer. Another thing you're going to want to do is change your menus. So you need to actually set a menu for the app that's going to be different than the menu for your website. So to do that, you can either choose an existing menu or you can create a new menu. And you can either go under Menu Locations and choose a menu for your uh, app. And you can also do the same for a footer. If I did not want a footer, I could just deselect a menu there and save it. Now the cool part about this is that you can create a menu for your app that has different pages than your website. So say you wanted to have certain pages that are only available in the app, uh, then you can put those in your app menu and leave them out of your website menu and that way it's only available in the app. Um, the same as vice versa, if you want something that's only available on your website, just put that in the website menu, not in the app menu. Uh, you can see that we have a preview of the menu here. You know, we can go uh, back and look at the multi-tier menu. There's some uh, great 
you know, icons we can add, we can have dividers like this. That's all in the documentation for the ion theme, which I'm using here. After setting a menu, you can also set your mobile front page. So what that does is basically gives you a nice list view of your uh, of your posts and like this you can choose what type of list it is thumbnails no thumbnails card list if you're using the app swiper then you can actually add a slider to the home page so if I uncheck that you'll see that the slider will disappear um, there's some other stuff you can do you can upload a logo and you can change the site title and tagline anything that has a red asterisk by it here means that it will also change for your web, your desktop website so once we're finished with that uh, let's go back in the settings and you know you can if you have extensions installed you can go through their different settings here in these tabs and enter your license keys now uh, those are going to be you can check your doc our documentation to go over those so once you're done actually setting up your app, the easiest thing to do is to launch the App Presser Preview app. And I'm going to show you, this is a screen recording of my phone right now. You can look at our documentation for a link, or you can actually just search the App Store for App Presser Preview. And what this is going to do is give you a live preview of your app without having to do any other steps. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my domain in here and then I'm going to click launch preview. So I know it's cut off a little bit but you can see that we have the same website that I'm working on here is now inside of the app on my phone. I can click around and you know go use the different features of the app and everything actually works. So uh, even you know things like the native social sharing and if I go to the menu, I can click through. I, I have some test short codes on this page, so uh, you know I can go ahead and test those out. I have like geolocation. Um, I can log in and check in. I can do the app camera. It actually works if I log in. I can test out the menu and things like that. So this is a great way to just get a preview of your app and see what it looks like as you're developing it. Now it's not 100% uh, accurate because things like push notifications don't work in the preview app, but it's just a great way to see how it's looking as you're developing it. Then when you're ready to uh, build a final version of your app and get ready to submit to the app stores, you want to use the PhoneGap build process that is in our documentation. And I'll show you that very quickly. If you log into your account, and then you go to uh, appressor.com forward slash build you'll see that we have a form here that is going to allow you to build your app so what you're going to do is just fill out the information here about your app you want to make sure your website URL is the one that you have Appressor installed on and fill out a little bit more information here you can also upload your icon and splash screens and make sure it's this exact size that we have specified for you and it's also a PNG file um, if you, as long as you upload those images in that exact specification, we will actually resize all of the images for you and get all those splash screens and icons ready for you. And then once you click submit, you'll be able to download a zip file that you can then upload to PhoneGap Build and build your app. So this is very handy, makes it really easy for you to get your app ready for the app stores. And again, we have lots more information about that on our, in our documentation. So that's it for setting up AppPressor, and if you have any more questions, check out our docs, docs.appressor.com, and there's information about all of this process that I've gone through and lots more. Thanks. See you in the next video.